In this video, we will discuss about plasmids and the study of plasmid is very important to molecular biology because plasmids can encode genes for antibiotic resistance or virulence factors. Plasmid is defined as a vehicle for the insertion of foreign genes into bacteria and it was first introduced by the Leidenberg in 1952. Ledenberg first introduced the term plasmid in 1952 and he was awarded Nobel Prize also in 1958 for his work in discovery of organization of the genetic material of bacteria. So the size of the plasmid varies from 1 to 200 kilo base pairs and the plasmids most commonly found in bacteria but sometimes present in archaea and eukaryotic organisms. So the plasmids are self-replicating double-stranded circular DNA molecules that are maintained in bacteria as chromosomal entities. Now the plasmid contain three components that is origin of replication, the multiple cloning sites, and the antibiotic resistant gene. But before studying these three components, here we have a diagram of a bacterial cell. And in a bacterial cell, there are bacterial genome and bacterial DNA. And this genetic material of bacteria is scattered within cytoplasm because bacteria don't have well-organized nucleus. And here in bacterial cell, the plasmid is present, which is self-replicating and double-stranded molecules. The double-stranded and the circular form of plasmid is very stable as compared to the linear form of plasmid. Now, we have to discuss about the three components of the plasmid, the origin of replication, multiple cloning sites, and an antibiotic resistant gene which is also known as selectable marker. The origin of replication is a small sequences within DNA from where replication initiates and without this side the replication does not take place. The next one is multiple cloning sites. These are the sites which is recognized by the restriction and the nucleus in order to cleave the DNA. And the last one is antibiotic resistant gene which is also known as selectable marker and this gene that encodes resistant to antibiotics are known as antibiotic resistant gene. So uh, ORI is a stretch of DNA that ensures it gets replicated, copied by host bacterium. These are the small sequences found within DNA from where the replication initiates. Multiple cloning site is a short segment of DNA which contains restriction sites. And the antibiotic resistant gene, that gene that encodes resistant to antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance is the ability of a microorganism to withstand the effects of an antibiotic. Now, here's a diagram of plasmid. We have a promoter region, multiple cloning sites, ORI, that is origin of replication, and selectable marker. This promoter is a region that initiates transcription of a particular gene. And this promoter also defines the direction of transcription and indicate which DNA strand has to be transcribed. Now, after this, we have to study about the types of plasmid. But before studying the types of plasmid, we all know that the natural occurring plasmids lack several important features so that the genetically engineered plasmid are used in molecular biology. So all bacterial genera have natural plasmids, but naturally occurring plasmids offer like several important features. So plasmid cloning vectors or the genetically engineered uh, vectors, they are used in molecular biology. Now the plasmids are classified into conjugative and non-conjugative plasmids. Conjugative plasmids are those plasmids which contain a set of genes which promote sexual conjugation between different bacterial cells. So 
Here is a donor cell and recipient cell and through this pilus, attachment of two bacterial cells takes place. And the non-conjugated plasmid, they are incapable of initiating conjugation. Now, after this, we have to discuss about the four main classes of plasmid. F plasmid, R plasmid, degradative plasmid and the cryptive plasmid. F stands for the fertility and F plasmids are those plasmids that carry information for their own transfer from one cell to another. And the R plasmid are those plasmids that import resistant to antibiotics. And degradative plasmids, the plasmid that carry a specific set of genes for the utilization of unusual metabolites. And the cryptoplasmid is a unique plasmid which have no apparent functional coding genes other than the replicating the host genome right after this the plasmid how the plasmid can be introduced into a bacterium so the plasmid can be introduced in your, into a bacterium by a way of process known as transformation and then bacteria start dividing rapidly and they can be used as factories to copy DNA fragments in a large quantities. After this, we will discuss about the episomes. The term episome was proposed by the Francois Jacob and Bormann in 1958. Episomes are the genetic material in bacteria that can replicate free in cytoplasm. So the episome is extra chromosomal genetic material that may replicate autonomously or become integrated into the chromosome. Now after this, the plasmids are also known as high copy number plasmid if they maintain 10 to 100 copies per host cell. And the plasmid that maintain 1 to 4 copies per host cell, they are known as low copy number plasmids. In the molecular biology, there are two types of plasmid that we commonly used. So we use PBR322 and also we use PUC18. So let's begin with discussing about the PBR322. PBR322. The plasmid cloning vectors are designated by P and this P stands for the plasmid. Now, now take an example of PBR322. This BR stands for the work of the researchers Bolivar and Rodriguez who created this plasmid and 322 is a numerical designation that has relevance to these workers, right? PBR322 contains 4361 base pairs. And PBR322 contains two antibiotic resistant gene that is tetracycline gene and ampicycline gene in this tetra and one comforts the resistant to ampicycline gene and the other is tetracycline gene okay in tetracycline gene we have unique bam h1 side cell one side and pin d third side right in ampicycline gene we have P pst one side right so uh, that the array that uh, is a sequence from where the replication is initiates. So this array that functions only in E. coli is maintained at a high copy number in E. coli and can't be readily transferred to other bacteria.